Ease is not a programming language like C, Pascal, Fortran, or MATLAB. Programming languages use assignment statements in which all variables that appear on the right side of the equal sign have predetermined values. Ease is very different because it's actually an equation solver. The equations can be linear or nonlinear, and a nonlinear equation set can have multiple solutions and will necessarily require iterative solution methods. Ease automatically recognizes the type of equation set that has been entered and then applies a variety of powerful numerical methods in order to identify a solution. Let's illustrate the most basic method that Ease uses to solve equations by considering the following single nonlinear equation and one unknown. The equation, or more typically a set of equations, is rewritten in terms of a set of residuals by subtracting the right side of each equation from its left side. The solution to the equation set, then, is the set of independent variables that results in all of the residuals being zero. Our single equation can be rewritten in terms of a single residual, f of x. A solution to this equation, then, is the value of x that causes the residual to be zero. A residual is plotted here as a function of x. Notice that there are several solutions within the domain shown here, and each is indicated by a blue dot. Again, Ease only identifies one solution to a set of sol equations, even though multiple solutions might exist. If this equation is entered into the equation window, then Ease is going to identify this solution. In order to solve this equation, Ease begins with a guess value for the solution x and evaluates the residual at this guess value of x. Ease also numerically calculates the derivative of the residual with respect to x. And then it uses these two values to find a new and hopefully better value of x according to this equation. This solution technique is called Newton's method and is very efficient at finding a solution when it works. Because we're dealing here with a very simple case involving a single residual with a single variable, it's pretty easy to illustrate this process graphically. So let's start with an initial guess of x equal 2 and evaluate both the residual, shown by the red dot here, and the slope, which is shown by the line. Using this information, then Ease extrapolates to a new solution, which is shown here, and the process continues over and over again, iteratively honing in on the correct solution. Some type of criteria, then, is necessary in order to stop the iteration process. In Ease, the stop criteria is specified in the Stop Crit tab of the Preferences dialog, which is accessed from the Options menu. The criterion could be the number of iterations, or alternatively, we can monitor the absolute value of the residuals, or the absolute values of the change in the independent variables between iterations, and stop the process whenever one of these indicators becomes smaller than a specified tolerance. Finally, we could also specify a maximum value of elapsed time. Unfortunately, Newton's method, or any other iterative method for solving nonlinear sets of equations, doesn't always work and a poor initial guess can cause the method to diverge or to encounter a numerical problem such as raising a negative number to a non-integer value or dividing by zero. You may converge to a solution that is not even physically possible. Therefore, the choice of the guess value that you use to start the iteration process is very important. Guess values and lower and upper bounds for each variable and ease can be specified using the variable information command from the options menu as shown here. Notice here that changing the guess value is going to result in a different solution being identified by ease. Now that we understand a little bit about how ease solves systems of equations, we can start to talk about how to use ease most effectively, and that's the subject of our next video.